Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to another exciting episode of Thailand Outlook. I'm k a t a n g with Tao Chit. Just pull up a chair and let's catch up on the latest from Thailand. Just imagine we're chilling in a cozy spot. The air is filled with the aroma of the street food, and I'm about to share some exciting updates that have been making waves in our country. First up, Thailand is now stepping up its game in a big way at the special summit in Melbourne, Australia. Prime Minister Sita t u i s i n is all about pushing forward on making connections smoother than ever. You know, we're talking trade, digital vibes, and people linking up, you know, like never before. But it's not just about making things easy; it's about keeping it green too. Just imagine trading with Australia getting a major boost, you know, especially with initiatives like the ASEAN Australia Centre and a bunch of scholarships making rounds. And plus, there is talk about making the region a peaceful haven, you know, with a focus on solving crises and promoting clean energy and tech. This is like Thailand's gearing up to be everyone's favorite neighbor. Now, for a flight of fancy. Thailand is on a mission to transform into a global aviation powerhouse, and with its uh, strategic spot in Asia, it's got the potential to be the go-to hub for flights, you know, crisscrossing the sky. Now, airports of Thailand or AOT is definitely pouring all of its energy and you know some serious cash into making this dream a reality, upgrading six major airports to handle more passengers, you know, and planes than ever. They're also bringing in the latest tech. To make traveling a breeze and expanding routes to connect the dots between Thailand and the rest of the world, and this is like watching Thailand prep its wings to soar higher in the global skies. And last but not least, Thailand and Cambodia are joining forces to tackle a hot issue, which is forest fires. And with hotspots popping up more than what we like to see or hear, the two countries are setting up a joint firefighting center to keep the flames at bay. You know, it's all about preserving the environment and keeping the air clean for everyone. And think of this as neighbors coming together, you know, garden hoses in hand, ready to put out fires and protect their shared backyard. This is, you know, really a solid move towards cleaner air and healthier living for everyone involved in both countries. And uh, there you have it, folks. From building bridges, literally and uh, figuratively, to uh, taking to the skies and protecting our green spaces, Thailand's making moves that really matter. This is like watching a live-action movie where every scene is about leveling up and looking out for the planets. Thank you for joining us, and I will see you again on the next episode of Thailand Outlook. I'm Kuo Chang with Tao Chit. Bye for now. Sweaty crap. In support of visitors to Thailand taking part in the country's thriving meetings, incentives, conventions, and exhibitions, or mice industry, the nation's government is providing fast-track visas to event attendees. Easier entry will make it so that more people can be a part of Thailand's global-level expos and festivals, pushing them to even greater heights, fulfilling Thailand's potential as a regional venue. Soft power refers to a country's capacity to use attraction or persuasion, rather than force, to affect the preferences and actions of different actors in the international arena: states, corporations, communities, publics, etc. More than ever, as the nations must develop a deliberate, well-thought-out soft power strategy to advance, strengthen, and defend their interests. Both domestically and globally, in light of the highly unpredictable global environment and the impending realities of the fourth industrial and technological revolution, a number of nations have adopted the soft power phenomenon as a defining feature of their national brands, such as South Korea's Creative Korea policy and Japan's Cool Japan, which are founded on cultural costs, creativity. And technology. This is evident in the success of the music and film industries in these countries, as a major financial hub and an example of good governance for many other countries in the region. Singapore is leading the way in ASEAN in terms of soft power. It is ranked 21st in the world. Additionally, 
ranked in the top 50 worldwide are Malaysia, 39th, Thailand, 41, and Indonesia, 45th. As their popularity as travel destinations grows, they are also investing in building powerful corporate brands that will boost their soft power globally. In order to boost the value of goods and services and the nation's competitiveness, the current administration has made it a priority to further promote Thailand's soft power. After Prime Minister and Finance Minister Seta Tawisin chaired the National Soft Power Strategy Committee meeting, the National Soft Power Strategy Committee was established and composed of members of the public and private sectors, as well as experts in the soft power industry, thus enhancing and advancing Thailand's reputation and position globally. Moreover, the committee intends to implement a number of initiatives and strategies to advance the soft power industry's 11 sectors. Food, sports, festivals, travel, music, books, film, games, art, design, and fashion are among the 11 industries. Furthermore, it is these five F's of food, film, fashion, fighting, which is Thai martial arts, and Thai traditional festivals that support Thailand's creative industry's entry into foreign markets as significant uses of soft power. Hence, the concept of soft power goes beyond exporting goods and culture. It is a strategy for advancing international, social and economic tides. Particularly, in light of the COVID-19 recovery, soft power has emerged as a crucial instrument for increasing economic value. With a focus on innovation and technology, the Thai policy seeks to establish a creative economy based on knowledge, intellectual property, experience and creativity, connected to culture and society. In addition to serving as a link to support the advancement and more efficient application of soft power, these strategies involve planning conferences, trade shows, and seminars that feature both domestic and foreign events. Highlighting Thailand as a top travel destination rich in history and beauty for people worldwide, the objective is to present Thai cultural technology and innovation in new ways, all in an effort to drive a continuous economic push.